Lots of sunshine today, but it will be a different story heading into tomorrow. In fact, we'll have clouds, even some rain chances. A little bit of rainfall when you look over towards Georgia on Skywatch Doppler radar. As far as the cloud cover goes, well, those clouds have been increasing over the last couple of hours. Mostly cloudy right now. We'll continue to see that layer of cloud overhead thicken. And unfortunately, we're not really expecting sunshine heading into the day on Saturday. Let's take a look at the temperatures, real time numbers on the Skywatch Weather Bug Network. We start at Joseph Riley Park, the baseball stadium down in Charleston. Just because of the sunshine today, I wanted to show you the beautiful field there. Unfortunately, the light's not on tonight as there's no game. We're out of baseball season, so fairly dark. 47 degrees after a high of 54. The Opera House in Newberry loved the sunset here, looking at the clock tower on the Opera House at 43 degrees currently. 54 was the high temperature for our friends in Newberry today, uh, especially in the downtown area. Elsewhere across not only the Palmetto State, but taking you up to the Queen City in Charlotte, 40 degrees, 39 in Landrum, Monk's Corner at 43, as well as Myrtle Beach at the Dunes Golf Resort uh, down there in Myrtle Beach. So 40s, 30s, those are the current temperatures across both North and South Carolina. Another gorgeous shot of a sunset from meteorologist Garrett Biedenbonzel stopping grounds. UNC Charlotte, the 49ers. Always love that shot. Watch it kind of loop through one more time with a very pleasant uh, sunset today. And then again, different story going into tomorrow for them as well, courtesy of the rain chances. Because of the clouds that I just showed you on radar, that is helping to keep temperatures slightly warmer tonight because they act as a blanket. The same way, as I always say, when you take a blanket and put it on you when you go to bed to stay warm, that's what these clouds are doing. The heat we absorb during the day stays intact, so it keeps temperatures a little more bearable for those of you that are not fans of the 30s and 20s that we've experienced the last several nights. Plenty in the way of cloud cover out there that continues to slide into South Carolina. And all of this green that you see here, the rain chances, yep, that's on its way too. That'll be here, especially by the midday hours into the evening hours tomorrow. Now, you can see a little bit of purple in here indicating a wintry mix, some sleet, freezing rain, snow, that will not be the case for us. But do keep in mind if you are planning to go to the Northeast this weekend, that will likely be a little bit of a problem as we do expect heavy amounts of snow from this system up there while we get some decent amounts of rain. Through the next 24 hours, taking you to lunchtime tomorrow, I do expect some scattered showers across the area. Still looking for the rain chances as we head towards five o'clock and into tomorrow night, Saturday night. I know a lot of folks plans to go out. Well, Make sure you have the umbrella. I still expect some scattered showers across the area until that front sweeps through overnight and improving conditions heading into the day on Sunday. Down to about 40 tonight with a cloudy sky expected. Look for a temperature of 45 at 9 o'clock. Rain chances really becoming more widespread by lunchtime at 48 degrees. 52, I think the rain and clouds will keep our temperatures down tomorrow. Despite a southerly wind, it'll be pretty breezy at times, 10 to 20 miles per hour, increasing as we head towards 5 o'clock with a temperature of 52 degrees. And as promised, improving by Sunday. 56 with some sunshine by the afternoon. Pleasant temperatures going into next week. And I'm looking for dry weather as we head into next week as well, as, uh, well Daryl and Bree.